users are the financial blood of YouTube. Without us, they don't exist. Now that we've established a balance of power, let's see if we can get YouTube to play ball. I've tried half a dozen times to contact YouTube over vote bot attacks and flagging campaigns that constantly seem to stream over this and other channels. Interestingly, the only time I ever saw a response from YouTube was over a phishing email I received from someone claiming to be a YouTube representative. They'd given their channel an official look by embedding a featured video from YouTube's official advertised channel. I messaged this about them and they corrected the problem within hours. Oh yeah, when YouTube deems something in their personal interests, they can act quick enough. Now I feel that YouTube is aware of the problem that this channel and others are facing. They have simply elected not to communicate or act as they don't deem it in their financial interests. However, without users, YouTube is nothing. Users are the lifeblood of YouTube. Collective action by users necessitates a response by YouTube. It has been my ongoing and lengthy experience that YouTube's help system is utterly ineffective and deliberately infuriating to use. It has become clear to me that YouTube not only reads messages sent to its advertised channel, but rapidly acts on them when it's in their best interests. This is, of course, essential to their financial existence of advertising revenue. They have to read these messages. Well, you don't have to be Einstein to figure out what the most effective strategy for the users is. If you're going to protest as a user, do it where it's effective. If you're unhappy with YouTube's inaction regarding vote bots, script voting, spamming, false flagging campaigns, and YouTube's inability to correct these mistakes, then feel free to voice your concern to this woman. Welcome to YouTube's very own brand channel. This is our version of an online media kit. I'm Susie Ryder. I'm the director of ad sales at YouTube, and it has been staggering over the course of the last couple of years to see YouTube grow from a small video sharing site to garnering the sixth largest audience on the web. There are a couple things that a marketer or an advertiser needs to get. The first one is that on YouTube, it's really about participating. Look at me dancing with Soldier Boy. It's, I'm participating. You heard Susie. It's all about participation. You can take her up on her offer and contact her either directly through YouTube's advertised channel or via the link provided. Basically, Google Susie Ryder's name. Now, I have no doubt that a company like YouTube will do their best to get the spam filters on this first thing Monday morning. So if you want your voice to be heard, it's best to use unique wording and probably include the odd line about advertising, etc. Be creative. And yeah, it has occurred to me that YouTube might shut me down for this. I'm sure they could spin this into a violation of some sort. Hell, the guidelines are so vague that anything could be a violation. Well, anyway, that's for them to do the cost-benefit analysis on. For me, this is simply a calculated risk. If YouTube decide to play ball here, there will be less angry users writing the messages, and YouTube will be a better maintained and fairer forum. It's win-win. If they don't, then the Thunderfoot channel is gone. And YouTube makes its statement about how it values the opinions of users. And the site likely becomes an increasingly bland and sterile commercial video network, the trajectory it's arguably on already. Irrespective of YouTube's actions, the optimum strategy for us free thinkers now is for you to add the big channels as friends. Basically, this allows us, when someone brings a vote bot attack to our attention, to alert thousands and maybe even tens of thousands to the problem. This is a form of workaround for dealing with symptoms. Only the system engineers can provide a cure. And yeah, that's you, YouTube. Users. The time has come for you to decide if YouTube's inaction to correct the willful abuse and the detrimental effects that this has had on your experience of using YouTube merits you writing to them. Your collective actions will decide the outcome. To a very large extent, you, the YouTube community, will get the forum it deserves.
Success or failure now lie within the hands of the users. It is time to choose your path.